as we take a look at the tail of the Tay. Very similar in terms of uh, measurables, height and weight-wise, but Blair Cobbs with a three-inch reach advantage, but you see the age. Blair Cobbs, 32 years of age, had a late start to his professional career, was kind of an advanced age prospect, but they're here at the same place here tonight. And we'll so Our main event is underway, Alexis Rocha in the black trunks, Blair Cobbs in the blue and gold. Scheduled for 10 rounds. A strong volume puncher and a southpaw in Rocha and an athletic gifted southpaw in Blair Cobbs. Very athletic. He can sometimes throw opponents off with the way he, he starts fights and, and, have, and move side to side with these awkward movements. The main thing is, can he keep that chin tucked in? Right? That's the biggest detriment that I see with Cobbs. As athletic as he is, as explosive and confident, can he keep that chin tucked? Shot to the body there from Cobbs. Rocha trying to apply with a heavy jab. And that's what makes it difficult for, for fighters to pin down a fighter like Blair Cobbs. He's always moving laterally to the left and to the right. Rocha specializes in volume punching. Volume punching short, tight shots. Speaking of keeping her chin down, that Rocha does a great job at that. Yes, High guard, does. chin down, and tight, compact punches. Rocha very comfortable here on the inside, but Cobbs connects. A good chopping left hand as well. Stop! Break! Break your own, guys. Watch your shoulder. Let's go. Yeah, I think both fighters have to be happy with different segments of this round. Rocha particularly in the early going. Cobbs now controlling the perimeter of the ring. And using that athleticism, both men flurry on the inside. Stop good good job. Good start to our main event. Good job, by Good job. Good left hand connects from Cobbs as well. Cobbs not allowing Rocha so far to work on the inside for extended periods of time. Stop, stop. So he almost had a clash of heads there. Break Cobbs smothering the attack of Rocha. That's what he's going to have to do for 10 rounds. Nice straight left by Rocha. Rocha just missed with that left hand. That was a big left hand. Rocha's brother, Ronnie Rios, watching from ringside. As Rocha landed a couple of good shots here in the early Stop. going. Rocha landed some big shots and missing some big shots barely. Like Bernard Hawkins said earlier, in order for Cops to win this fight, he's going to have to win. He's going to have to fight a perfect fight and keep that chin tucked Stop. in. Stop. And I can see that already because Rocha's missing some some. Big, big shots on the inside by a little bit, just like that. Cobbs connects with the right hook in the midst of that as well, but Rocha still firing away, and Cobbs smiles as if this is what he wants. Rocha connects with a good left hand as well. The straight left are landing beautifully. The closer he gets, the better and better they're going to land. 10 seconds, guys, 10 seconds. Final 10 seconds, a couple flush left hands connecting from Alexis Rocha here in round two. Time, time! The game plan for Rocha is to break down Cobbs, to, to back him up, get him against the ropes, get those combinations going. Cobbs needs to get respect and he's attempting it here. Good straight left hand there from Blair Cobbs. He circles back to the outside. And this yes. is something Cobbs told us was the key for him, to take the initiative and lead those exchanges, because in his words, he described Rocha as a reactionary fighter. A retaliation a retaliate, puncher. Yes. That's what I know, that he makes a good point. So it's gonna be singles and doubles for Cobbs. Don't mix up combinations with Rocha. That's Rocha's fight. Pretty good combination from Rocha a moment ago. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And the unpredictable offense of Blair Cobbs. Not exactly a conventional style, but again, we've described his physical gifts. He's shown fight-changing power. 
and he is certainly one heck of an athlete. If he, if he can keep this, this momentum, this uh, moving laterally, this is a good round by Blair Cobb. Ran some oh, good shots, stop, got the respect stop, stop, of Rocha, stop. and not stop, standing stop, in front of him too long. Rocha's right eye looks a little bit swollen as well. Right here, we're going to see Alexis Rocha again on the inside. Good body shot. I want to see more body shots. Thrown by Rocha on the inside. But Blair Cobb did a good job. There's that awkward one, too. It was, he threw the left hand first and then the two. It was like a right hook, straight right. Rocha wasted no time getting right on top of Cobb here in round four. Fences there, connects on a right, a right hook. He just missed with the left hand over the top. Rocha connects with a sweeping right hand as well. Good body shots on the inside by Cobb, but he needs to be careful pulling back like that. Rocha swung away. Fight out of it, fight out of it. Body work there from Rocha. Oh, nice jab. jab from Rocha as well. Three was a bounce back round for Cobbs. Maybe a little bounce back round here for Rocha. The pendulum swings. Three solid jabs in a row. I like that by Rocha. Stop, no punching. Cobbs coming up short with that left hand, but checking him with that right hook right there. And then Rocha with the body shots. I want to see more body shots from Rocha. That's what's going to stop Cobbs from using so much. It's the body. Nice jab landed there by Alexis Rocha. Nice body shot on the inside by Cobb. Cobb's laying a little short oh, shots Stop. on the inside. Yeah, Cobb's a moment ago too when they were engaged on the inside just using that free hand just to hit Rocha anywhere. Oh, Good big shot. left hand connects for Rocha. Series of them and Cobbs is in trouble. Beautiful shot. Cobbs is but he's firing back. Those short straight left landing. The closer he gets. And this is what we wanted to see. How is Blair Cobbs going to react once he's hurt? He's going to keep that chin down. Cobbs has survived and fought back from these situations before. But oh, never right, against right. a fighter oh. quite as good as Alexis Rocha. And there is a ton of time left in round five. Rocha should go for a little bit, get more aggressive with those left hands right now, and I think Cobbs is still shook. Round six begins. And Sinisa, how do you qualify this? Do you think this is more of a pace of Rocha, who lands another good shot, of his game plan breaking Cobbs down, or Cobbs starting to unravel? I think it's definitely in Rocha's game plan, and like I said in the beginning of the, of the fight, the closer Rocha gets, the better he's going to land those straight left, and that's exactly what's happening, and he's landing them more and more, and Blair's taking the shots very well. I'm very impressed at how well Blair has taken that many straight lefts from Rocha. Well, and those same shots, they are continuing to land, the same ones that had Cobbs hurt in the fifth. Rocha is landing the same ones again here in the early going of round six. Rocha found a home for that left hand. He, if he goes down to the body and hurts, Cobb just one more time to the body, expect that left hand to land big upstairs. Right now, Rocha back on his jab, now talking to Cobbs. Big left hand connects from Cobbs. That's the best shot of the fight from him. That was a big, well-timed shot by Cobbs right there, but you gotta give Rocha credit. He took that well. That's the shot that Freddie Rhodes wanted Cobbs no, no to walk no, no, Rocha into, and he found it with less than a minute to go in round seven. Ten seconds left to go. 
here in round seven. Best shot of the fight for Blair Cobbs. Was landed in another one right down the pipe. Roach just shakes his head no, but that was a near mirror image of the previous left hand, and those were serious shots. Cobbs dancing like Quebradita, feeling it now. Lexus, te lo diciendo por Dios. Round eight underway. And you have to say, everyone has an opinion on Blair Cobbs. They feel strongly about him one way or another, mainly because of all the trash talking, the antics. But for those who love Blair Cobbs, that's another reason why. His ability to pull things out when he's under duress, big shots like that to get him back into this fight. We've seen him do it time and time again. And that's exactly why Hector Lopez was telling Rocha, or yelling at Rocha and telling him, do not reach because a fighter like Blair can counter you with a big shot. So is Rocha who connects on a big right hook. Cobbs is hurt. Cobbs is hurt. Cobbs is seriously hurt. And I don't know how steady he is right now. He staggers back to the ropes. He'll get a chance to continue. There is an eternity left in this round for Alexis Rocha. Cops dipped right into that uppercut, which is double the power. Nice body Set. shot by Rocha. I think Cops felt that as well. Rocha just misses with that left hand. Jab to body straight left up top. Rocha setting up that big left hand upstairs. Another left hand connected, Cobbs barely remains on his feet. That one wobbled him. Final 15 seconds as Blair Cobbs in survival mode for a second time in this fight. Ten seconds now, ten seconds. Cobbs eating a flurry here in the corner. And he will barely make it out of that round. Rudy Baragan, the referee, was about to stop that fight. I'm glad he didn't. Now, if you don't want to invite this guy and throw your hands and get hit, I'm going to stop the fight. Yeah. You guys, we need this right now. You need to knock out to win this fight. Yeah. 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 Come on, hands up. We're going to do right here. Lay your hands go. Back him up. With a fighter like Blair Cobbs, you never know what you're going to expect. He's so unorthodox. He's so come from behind. He can pull out something from anywhere. So that's why I'm glad the referee didn't stop this fight, even though he is taking a beating. Big right hook wobbles Cobbs. He was nearly caught up in the ropes. The mouthpiece is out, and Rocha is all over him. It. That is it. What a performance from Alexis Rocha. He said he would break Cobbs down, and he did exactly what he told us he would do. Those chopping left hands right there, when you're hurt, they continue to keep you hurt. That's a veteran move by Alexis Rocha right there. And you gotta give credit to Blair Cobb. One thing he is not good at doing is clinching. And Rocha knew that. He knew that he wasn't gonna be able to survive when hurt. So he punched and punched, especially with that free hand and that left hand. Blair Cobbs even throwing a combination to, to, to the midsection of the referee. I love that. I love that. So much heart. And just, he just wanted to keep going. That's great. Great to see. A thrilling main event. A thrilling finish. Ladies and gentlemen, comes officially 44 seconds round number nine. Referee Rudy Barragan puts a halt to the belt. Your winner by KO victory, the Santana California, Alexei.